abuse from boxing fans backstage. Now, it's an awful video. Um, obviously, the video gets quite violent. Uh, Cricket, I believe there's been a, a statement made. Yeah, Manchester City released a statement around lunchtime today, the video having surfaced this morning. Uh, they say the club is aware of a video which has circulated on social media uh, showing Phil Foden and his family being harassed and abused. Uh, we are shocked and appalled about the nature of the abuse and ensuing assault on one of Phil's family members. They go on to say we will continue to give Phil and his family all the support and assistance they need. I think, first of all, we have to say credit to Manchester City for coming out so quickly and vehemently in defence of their player. Uh, hopefully it's changed the narrative of how this will be reported in tomorrow's newspapers. And I think that statement, for me, sums up the way that most right-minded people watching that horrible footage should be feeling this evening. It made me feel sick, to be honest, and I think it's a pretty sad reflection of where we are not just when it comes to the, the tribal nature of football, but also the tribalism of society in general. And I do think our political leaders have probably got a lot to answer for when it comes to that tribalism. Maybe that's for another day. But sadly, the, the simple fact is there are too many morons, uh, whether fueled by drink or whatever else they've put into their systems, who think that this type of behaviour has become acceptable. What kind of world are we living in where a young, successful England footballer can't attend a sporting event with his family without the fear of being viciously verbally abused. What kind of world are we living in where a mum hears that vitriol directed at her son, and it's a parent's instinct, isn't it? We've all got kids. Of course. To defend their own, and in doing so, she ends up getting a punch in the face from a yob. And I think the most damning indictment of all of this is that this group of thugs thought it was okay, thought it would be funny to film it all and then post it on social media? I mean, how much of an imbecile do you actually have to be to put up what is effectively video evidence of you and your pals committing a crime? Do you think they would have done that if they were robbing a house or stealing a car? It's outrageous. It's actually beggar's belief in many ways. And what also saddens me, I've seen some messages, and it is a minority, from rival football fans blaming Foden for being out after they'd lost to Tottenham. Like, football is a somehow fair game. And it was the same when Jordan Pickford was abused at his local pub last week. People said, well, why is he going to his local pub? Yeah. Why shouldn't he be go to his local no, pub? Of course. To anybody who seriously believes that and uses it to defend these animals, give your head a wobble. It's an absolute disgrace. You know and sadly, it's becoming frequent. Do you know what it is, Cricky, as well, is that a lot of people ask footballers to be, no to be normal act like the normal people, do you know what I mean? Like, don't put them on a penny stool because they're just like everybody else. But when they try and do that, like going to the boxing, these things arise. And you know full well what they're hoping for. They've got the camera phone out there before it's even started, hoping for a reaction from Phil Foden yep. so they can catch him and get him in trouble. But it's absolutely disgusting because as you said there, he's, he's walking, it looks like he's going to a box to go in there and watch Minding the Minding his own business. Minding his own business. And you've got some guys, it, it, and I know how it can start, I've been there before, where you're walking somewhere and the, someone might say to him, oh, can I have a picture? Or just shout something out. Mm. You try to ignore it. It gets worse and worse and worse. And at this type of boxing event, this seems to happen an awful lot, by the way, because yeah. I know someone who was there last night and I think Sterling was there. They were, they were hammering abuse at him and he managed to just walk off and, and, and let it pass. Yeah. But why should he have to? Why should you have, have to exactly. tolerate that? You know, would you do that to a film star? You know, would, would Tom Cruise, if he'd attended the boxing, have got the same kind of abuse? What, why is it seen okay to abuse footballers because presumably they're fans of a rival club. It's not funny, it's not big, it's not clever. And do you know what? I hope that that big man who threw the punch at a woman, I hope he's hauled before the courts and punished in the strongest way possible because we need to stand up now and say this is not acceptable behaviour. Hmm. It's like you said, Crookie, footballers are expected to um, let it slide and it probably was Foden was letting it slide, but... You, you, when you've got your family there, and Daz will say the same thing, and you will say the same, it's natural instinct. Of course, it to is. stick up for your your son, your your partner, your husband, your wife, your your sister, brother, whoever it may be. For them to abuse people, knowing you're there with your family, is outrageous. And and you you said as well, because Manchester City lost the game, you feel you've got the right and to say that he shouldn't be there. It's his own fault. Let's put it into perspective. If there was an office worker who didn't do the deal on the day, 
Is he then not allowed or mm-hmm. she not allowed to go to the boxing? Mm. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. And yobs is the right word that you use for it. And that's exactly what it is. And I hope we see big punishment for this. Do, do you know what I will say? And um, when you look at the video, I mean, it's horrific. Someone punching his mum is that. When you look at Phil Phone and the way he conducted himself, that must have been a difficult situation because I can only, if someone hit my mum, mm. it's a completely different story. Because I don't think, I think whoever, I'm not reacting the same I, I, way Phil I agree. Phone did. I think Crookie would say the same. I will say the same. You react, someone punches your mum, you <laughs> react like I'm not reacting like he and did. I think whoever was with Phil Foden as, as, really got him out of harm's way there because I think they, they dragged him away from the situation but I think it would take a lot more than getting dragged Ooh, away from that I'm situation it's absolutely it's scumbags and that's what they are it's absolutely shocking behaviour from, from these people and filming it that's thinking but, it's but, funny but that's why they're filming it they're trying you to hear it. people laughing about it in the background he actually Disgusting. says at the end of the clip I've got all this on camera yeah well, see Bully for you, mate. Hopefully mm. that will come back and bite you in the strongest possible terms. But I did want to ask you two as, as ex-players, did you ever encounter any incident like that? Where you I, felt unsafe in, in the public eye? Not so much unsafe, I've, I've been to loads of sporting events um, where you, you get that. You, know, you get the, you got people that will shout stuff at TR and you've got to get on with it. I, I had an, an incident with myself involved and, and my dad. My you dad's no, my, yourself? Listen, my dad's no longer with us, um, but... We were, we were, I was signing autographs and a little boy come over an autograph and I can't even remember what he'd written on the bit of paper, but there was a, an awful message on the bit of paper and I was signing the back of it and my, my dad grabbed it and turned it around and, and read it and he lost his head. So he looked where it come from and obviously the car, there was people in it and it did kick off and, and I think Sean Derry, there was a few people from, from Crystal Palace, went over to the car. I think Sean actually got in the car, to be honest, and it, it did kick off. And it was, it was awful what was written on the paper. Um, no, you can't describe what was, what was written, but it was, it was awful.